You know, contrary to a lot of expectations, I enjoy my work in the Senate a good deal. The last few years have been particularly productive as I was able to help lead and negotiate the bipartisan infrastructure law, a comprehensive China strategy process, religious liberty protections, a compromised gun safety law, the Electoral Count Act reform, and emergency COVID relief funding. I was also able to help secure key Utah priorities, including funding for Hill Air Force Base and its program to modernize our nuclear deterrent, as well as funding for wildfire prevention, water infrastructure, rural broadband, removal of uranium tailings from Moab, expansion and restoration of our highway and transit infrastructure, and federal studies to save the Great Salt Lake. I've spent my last 25 years in public service of one kind or another. At the end of another term, I'd be in my mid-80s. Frankly, it's time for a new generation of leaders. They're the ones that need to make the decisions that will shape the world they will be living in. Now, we face critical challenges, mounting national debt, climate change, and the ambitious authoritarians of Russia and China. Neither President Biden nor former President Trump are leading their party to confront those issues. On deficits and debt, both men refuse to address entitlements, even though they know that this represents two-thirds of federal spending. Donald Trump calls global warming a hoax, and President Biden offers feel-good solutions that make no difference to the global climate. On China, President Biden underinvests in the military, and President Trump underinvests in our alliances. Political motivations too often impede the solutions that these challenges demand. The next generation of leaders must take America to the next stage of global leadership. While I'm not running for re-election, I'm not retiring from the fight. I'll be your United States Senator until January of 2025. I will keep working on these and other issues, and I'll advance our state's numerous priorities. I look forward to working with you and with folks across our state and nation in that endeavor. It really is a profound honor to serve Utah and the country, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to do so.